So today, we're going to be using one of your guys' decks in the Majestic Challenge and see how well can I do. This time we're going to be using the Griffin Spellwing Paladin and the Scarecrow. The Griffin paired out with this deck is going to be super amazing if we can go through the Spellwing for the bunch of Echoes and the Scarecrow for the Scarecrow damage. Spellwing, of course, to try to remove enchantments and deal damage and heal up ourselves. Paladin to heal up everyone and, of course, the Scarecrow paired up with everyone else. It should be pretty good overall. Let's see how well can we do with this deck. My name is Stu Mike and I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Alrighty, shout out to the person down here for recommending me this deck, facing a heal deck. Alright, sadly we don't have the mummy to enchant, but we're still going to try our best in uh, in winning this one. Let's actually try to double hit the scarecrow here. Uh, play some echoes. Let's do that, there we go. Alright, so we do hit the, the priest and the, the Kong. Sadly, the Kong got hit, so he will be using his ability. Uh, he will be pushing the Kong downwards towards us. Of course, it makes sense. And he will be getting a lot of value right there. That That is a little bit painful, but we can still make this work. Uh, let's just hit the Frogman set towards the Echo here. We should be able to hit the Kong as well. Oh, the Kong got hit by the Echo, not the Frogman set. That's okay, I guess. Um, this is going to hurt because, you know, the, the, the bug is next to the Kong and the, um, the priest will heal up the Kong. So that's like 170 damage right there on all th three of them. That is death. Yeah, that is death for the spell wing, sadly. But, um, hopefully we can take out, you know, his heroes here. So she can go back and forth with the scarecrow here. Bada bing, bada bing, bada bing, bada boom. We do take up, I think Frogmastic is dead. Yep, there you go. The Frogmastic died. That's good. Um, but sadly, he will now heal up the, the Kong once again. Hitting the Griffin for sure. So that's going to hurt. Uh, wow, nice double hit right there, man. He is getting a lot of value here, man. Lots of value. I would like to hit the, the Scarecrow multiple times. Oh, yep, there you go. We took out the Kong right there, so only, you know, healers are left alive. That's fine with me. We just got to uh, try to take out these healers as quick as possible. I think going after the Paladin might be the better play. Yeah, I think going after the Paladin might be the better play here. So we can push the Paladin towards... Never mind. Not the Paladin. I thought we were going to... I mean, we can still try, but I just don't think it's going to work out. I was going to say just hit the... Um... Never mind, it's not going to work out. So let's just do this. Hit the Paladin, maybe twice. And uh, heal up the Scarecrow here. Bada boom. We do, we do uh, hit the scare, uh, Paladin twice, that's good. Alright, so now with the Griffin going next, this is where we can try to heal up or deal damage somehow, some way or another, you know. Highly doubt we're going to be able to double hit the Paladin, but I would like to though. And we... Don't, but we do hit the priest and the paladin right there. Both of them do heal up the griffin just to keep him alive a little bit. He's going to fully heal up the priest once again. That's fine. We just gotta try, like I said, try to take out the paladin as quick as possible. He does take out the my paladin, which sucks. So let's try to get a double hit here for 120 damage. 120 damage. There we go. Yeah, like I said, we have to take out the Paladin. It's now or never, because if we try to focus on the Priest, he's going to heal up the Priest. He does get a nice little double hit on both of them. Well played, dude. Alright, so let's do... Can we double hit the Paladin, please? Bada boom. No, we don't. Oh, we do. We do get it. And that did not heal up the, the Griffin. I don't know if I want to heal up the Griffin there, or still use the Echo to deal damage to him, but... I think I would have rather, yeah, he uh, healed up the griffin there to keep him alive, so. Um, let's see. We have 222 health. He has 326. We will heal up. I'm just hoping that we can get a double hit. I'm really hoping that we can get a double hit. And no, we don't. All right. So, that sucks, but we have 301 health, he has 266, we do have a slight advantage when it comes to damage and health, I just need to try to get a double hit as well, and I am struggling to get a double hit here, but let's see if we can get a double hit right, right there, and yes, we do get the double hit, let's go, 
We have 197. He has 146. He needs four hits. I need three hits. And he manages to get a double hit on me. So if I give him a good line of sight, he will be able to double hit me. And I think he can. I think he can double hit me there. He's going to do it that way. He might miss because of the weight difference, but he can still do it. Let's see. And he got it because of the corner. No freaking way, dude. No freaking way he got that corner to hit the priest onto the scarecrow. That's so unfortunate, man. Our first loss right there. That was so close, but sadly we lost right, uh, that one. Let's continue on. All right, second match here. Let's do better this time around because that first one was very upsetting that we lost. Uh, we do start with the spell wing. He has an enchantment deck. This is during the clan quest weekend. He will be giving the, the zombie a defensive buff while poisoning, it seems like. No, he decides to just... Um, go for poison, okay. Um, we'll hit the griffin, just to place an echo. This might not be able to double hit. We failed to hit the griffin, understood. That was a big mistake. We failed to hit the griffin. Okie doke. Griffin. Uh, we could try to hit the corner. He does manage to hit the, the, the spell wing well played. Uh, yeah, no. Let's just let's just go for these two, and hit the hit the spell wing twice just to play some echoes on the board. Bada boom, bada boom, and more damage. Let's go. There we go. How is how is there no third echo? Oh well, everyone got hit uh, once or twice. That's good. He is going for the paladin. Okay. 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 We're still fine. We are still okay here. Uh, we could get the corner here and hit the Paladin towards the Echo. No, we actually use the Echo for ourselves to heal up and remove the poison. Alright. Uh, not what I was looking for, but he's just going, he's just going for, um, you can clearly tell that he's just going for the enchantment. He's not trying to win. But, um, let's do this right here. Get some more Echoes on the board. Deal damage to everyone right there. We could potentially get a monster kill here if we do this correctly with the with the griffin. But he is going to poison the paladin once again. Nope, he's just going for those. Oh, I'm not sure what he's trying to do here. He's going for the paladin. We do have four echoes to work with. And uh, let's see if we can somehow make this work. Oh yeah, look at this. Like We can, have, we can actually just hit the scarecrow towards them. Uh, place an echo. Maybe potentially hit the, the corner right there for the trap. There you go go and i think the banshee and the blacksmith are dead there you go we got a nice little double kill right there this this is an easy victory he's just going he's just trying to go for the enchantment is actually trying to win at least that one turn he was going for the enchantment and uh we got to notice just try to take out both of these guys i'm not sure if hitting the corner will be enough for the win but we're still going to do it anyways right here just to damage all oh we do manage to take out the zombie right there and can the scarecrow hit the shaman that was so close that would have actually taken out the shaman if he would have hit the corner right there all right 4v1 this is an easy victory for us he'll he's just gonna try to enchant for his enchantment quest and there you go and all we gotta do now is just hit the uh the scarecrow towards the shaman that's going to be an easy victory for us bada bing bada boom there you go first win one women lost, not terrible, I just wish I would have won the last one, but we can still go far here, especially, you know, with it being the, you know, the clan quest weekend, let's continue on, alrighty, come on, one win, one loss, 50-50, facing a heal deck with the vampires and the Kong, uh, we do start with the griffin, okay, so I would like to try to take out this vampire quick, as quickly as possible, but it might not work, but actually look at this, we can probably just take out the the priest first, like immediately here, if we do this correctly. Bada boom! Oh, come on! That should have hit the priest multiple times. I'm not meaning the scarecrow, I'm meaning the griffin damage. Oh well. That's okay. That's okay. I could have probably went after the spell wing too, but I had to take it I had to take a chance there, try to take out the priest right there. Alright, the vampire goes next. He does deal a lot of damage, but he cannot heal up for this turn. Of course, he is fully healed. He is going for the double hit on the on the spell wing, he completely misses the double hit. That's that's okay with me. Let's get some echoes on the board here. 
This should hit the vampire. We might be able to push the scarecrow towards the priest or towards the vampire here. Oh, never mind. We managed to, we managed to take out the priest and we got three echoes on the board. Okay. Sally, the paladin, hasn't moved at all, so he is taking a whole bunch of goop damage, which I really hope he pushes him out of the way. I'm actually surprised he's going for the paladin here. That's okay. That is A. Okay. Um. Pal or my scarecrow goes next. Should we just do? I mean, you can just hit the frog mystic here, and then hit the spell wing just to get some more echoes on the board. We do heal up the. The Paladin a little bit. That's great. Plus, we got some more Echoes on the board. Now the Paladin goes next. He is going to heal up the Vampire, hitting the Spellwing. Okie doke. But look at this. We can actually deal lots of damage to his Vampire now with the Scarecrow. Also place another Echo on the board here. This should be pretty good damage, hopefully. Bada boom. Ah, oh, one of the Scarecrows hit the Vampire, but not two of them. So we did like 160, 170 damage to him. So that was pretty good. But now the Griffin goes next. Um, taking out the griff or taking out the vampire right now will be crucial. The griffin does have a good chance of actually taking him out. It's just depending on where the vampire does end up in comparison to the scarecrow. And, uh, we could, we could take him out maybe. Just do this right here. Bada boom. Ah, oh, come on, dude. That did not take out the freaking vampire, man. <sighs> He is still alive, and he is going to stay alive because he is going to push the Scarecrow towards the Vampire, plus the Cricket is there to heal him up. So, not good. Not good at all. Um, no, he's just going to hit both of them. He still manages to hit, heal up the... Oh, no, he doesn't heal up the Vampire. Okay. So... We could take him out. Let's just try to do this. If we can get a double hit and maybe hit it towards the Scarecrow, that might be enough. Like right there. The, it is enough. It is enough to take him out. Let's go. And the Frog Mystic is there taking the goop damage. Mm -hmm. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. All of his attackers are dead. Well, the Vampire was the only attacker. So he has all healers here. He is going to heal up the Paladin here. Mm -hmm. Only one hit. That's okay. And... Uh, do, 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 do. I guess try to focus on the Paladin here. If he can push it towards the Echo, that would be great. There we go. We put, we did push him towards the Echo. We pushed the Frog Mystic out of the Goop, but the Paladin is now in the Goop here. They both have the same amount of health, yeah. So they're taking the same amount of Goop damage if they both stay in the Goop, so. Alrighty. This should be a victory for us. Should. Let's do... We could place an Echo or two on the board here while healing up the rest of the heroes here. And hitting the Frog Mystic with the Scarecrow. Bada boom, he surrendered, bada boom. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. We got a nice little victory right there again. So that's two wins, one loss. Doing okay so far. Pretty good. Let's continue. Alrighty, third match here. Or fourth match, I should say. Uh, another enchantment deck with the Cleric, which is pretty interesting, not gonna lie. Uh, we should... Let's go for the Scarecrow. Just hit the Scarecrow, hopefully twice here. And this will also place two Echoes. Bada boom. Ooh, we placed some more Echoes. We got four Echoes on the board. That's great. And um, with the Griffin going next, and look at the, the, per the perfect line that we have against the Banshee and the Cleric right here. We can just go back and forth on those two and just at least get a double hit. He is going to enchant the Spellwing twice. Okay. Look at this. We can actually... Oh, actually, I don't think we can actually hit the the Mummy. I mean, we could. We could hit the Mummy here. Yeah, I guess we'll do that. Hit the Mummy. Bada boom! The Mummy is dead. We don't need to worry about him enchanting to um not be able to heal. Only the spell wing has that enchantment. We can always remove it though if we do this correctly. His cleric goes next. He is going for the paladin. He's going to enchant the paladin. Ooh, that was actually quite a bit of damage. Well played, dude. Well played. Um, we'll heal up the scarecrow here. Hit the cleric towards the spell wing. We do heal up the scarecrow quite a bit, and also the the spell wing. So if we can take out the cleric and the banshee. As quickly as possible, then we should be okay. He is going for the scarecrow, hitting the bench or hitting the paladin as well. Um, 
we could yeah just remove the enchantment here this will also heal up the paladin and this should push the cleric towards the fire to take him out there you go i did not mean to for him to actually hit the, the echo over there but that's okay so there you go it's a 2v4 right now we remove the paladin's um nerf but he can just re-nerf him if he if he wants to and he can oh yes let's just hit both of them to nerf them so that sucks but at the same time ooh, the griffin is dead griffin is dead uh, ladies and gentlemen not good with the scarecrow here and this might push the banshee towards the echo to remove her speed yes we do the banshee is still alive if it wasn't for the freaking paladin nerf he could have she could have died i think all right so he's going to hit the paladin like i said that speed nerf definitely cost him the or cost him the play right there let's get a, a spell wing hit again so that's two echoes on the board here is a 1v3 we do have a huge advantage it's just you know my heroes are nerfed attack nerf except the scarecrow he's going to nerf the scarecrow okay so even though he does nerf the scarecrow we could um let's actually double heal up the scarecrow here this should shoot two scarecrows at the shaman oh one of uh, one two well actually two crows hit the shaman that right there two crows hit the shaman that was like 140 damage more or less so that's pretty good he only gets one hit again that's good oh this should be death now this should be death especially with the you know straight line right there there we go ladies and gentlemen we got our third win right there doing pretty good if i do say so myself still a little bit mad about the first loss that i got but regardless we got three um three wins one loss Let's continue on. Alrighty, alrighty. Uh, ooh, pretty decent deck. Shaman Naga with the Enchantress and the Seder. And with the Seder, or with the Shaman going first, he is, I would assume, going to enchant the Spellwing and the Griffin here. Yeah, he's going to do that. It makes sense, since the Griffin does go first. Yeah, of course. Oh, well. So we could... I mean, we can just hit all three of these guys right here. And this should place an Echo plus shoot a Scarecrow at maybe the Shaman here. So let's do that. Bada boom, bada boom. Oh, nice damage on the Enchantress and the Shaman right there. But the Seder going next. He is now going to buff up the Seder. No, he's not. He's going for the Griffin without enchanting. Okay, there you go. Now he's going to enchant. Oh, wait a second. I am confused. I am confused. I don't know what he's doing. He's going for the griffin. Not enchanting. Oh, okay. Oh, no, he did not play at all. What What just happened? He did not play at all. All right, so I guess we'll just hit the scarecrow right here. This should shoot a bunch of crows. Either the shaman or the enchantress here. Bada boom. Okay, not the greatest play, but we do double hit the naga as well, so not too tap, not too bad. All right, so now he'll probably enchant the satyr here. There you go. Yeah, he's going to enchant the satyr. Hitting the scarecrow. Well played. Uh, let's remove that enchantment for sure on the satyr right here. Oh, yeah, let's remove that enchantment right there. Bada boom. All right, good, good, good. We remove that enchantment. The naga goes next. He can actually, he can get a bunch of damage on the, on the griffin since the griffin is enchanted. While hitting the Paladin as well, it seems like. Yeah. And he re-enchants the Seder again. Well played. Alright, so not good, obviously. I mean, the Seder is enchanted. That's not good. We can take... We can just remove the... um, Or take out the Enchantress here. Play some more Echoes on the board. Yeah, there you go. We got five Echoes on the board. He can probably just... He's probably going to push the Seder towards the Paladin and potentially get a double hit. I think that is the best play that he can do. He's just going for the enchant enchantment? Oh, no, never mind. Like I said, he is going to push the satyr towards the paladin. He does manage to get a double hit and hits the griffin and the, the freaking spell wing. No freaking way, dude. Okay. And uh, we don't have a good, a good line of sight to take out the satyr here so i guess we'll just play some more echoes on the board yep there you go 
and uh all right so we probably will lose the the naga or not the naga the um the paladin at least but the spell wing is fully healed actually no the naga is or the paladin is still alive all right so this will um this will remove the um the spell wings enchantment heal up the spell wing hit this the satyr right there oh no way he just moved out of the way dude all right, so now the Naga cannot use double or, you know, do double damage, thankfully. He will be taking out the Paladin, which sucks. Um, how much health does the Seder have? 105, so we could double hit. It's just I don't have a good angle to double hit this, the freaking, um, the freaking Seder. So we'll hit the Shaman here. This might hit the Seder. There you go. We do double hit the Shaman. That was actually pretty good. All right, so now the Seder ha uh, has one hit to die, so that's good. But he will not be enchanting the rest of my heroes here. Or just a spell wing. Okay. And I say okay with me. Because we will uh, remove the enchantment. And this will take out the satyr. Right there. Bada boom. And Scarecrow deals damage to the Naga right there. Let's go. Let's go ladies and gentlemen. Alright so now both units needs one hit to die. Yep. Both uh, units just needs one more hit to die. On any unit. Well, now the Scarecrow needs multiple hits because, of course, that happened. Um, we'll go after the Naga since the Naga can now deal double damage to the Spellwing at least. There you go. And we got a whole bunch of Echoes right there by mistake. But we, go, we do get an extra one. But regardless, Shaman, one hit away from death against the Spellwing and the, and the Scarecrow here. This is another victory. Very easy victory to say the least. All we gotta do now is just actually just hit the Scarecrow once. And we are going to win. Ladies and gentlemen, two Scarecrows go for the Shaman right there. Let's go. We got another victory right there. We're doing great. Like, very, very good, actually. Even though we're doing this during the Clan Quest, we can, like I said, we're doing, we're doing pretty well here. We got four wins, one loss. Let's continue on. Okay. Four wins, one loss. Facing against, okay, it's another enchantment deck. Okay. Sort of another enchantment deck. Let's do Sally. We do start off with the Scarecrow. Can we just push the Shaman towards the Dragon's Hand to burn everyone? Yeah, we do. And the okay, the Spellwing actually did damage to a lot of heroes right there. Plus, we got a burn. That's good. He is going to enchant the Spellwing and the Griffin. Okay, that okay. That sucks. That's a lot of damage. Did not enjoy that one bit. Uh, we're gonna have to just do this. Go for the mummy here. Like, lots of damage to the mummy there. Mummy is dead. Perfect. The mummy is dead. I mean, he still has the shaman to enchantment, but at least if he can remove the griffins and the spellwings enchantment, we can heal up. And, okay, we're still fine. Okay, with the griffin, or, yeah, with the spellwing there, we can just go back and forth to place a whole bunch of echoes on the board here. There you go. While dealing, while dealing damage to the Naga right there, that's like 176 to the Naga. But now the Griffin is going to die. Sucks. But wow, look at this Look at this damage that we can do. We can do lots of damage to... I think the Shaman would be the best place since... Of course, we don't want the Shaman to enchant the rest of our heroes, making the Naga very strong. So, let's do this right here. There we go. Shaman is dead. So now the cleric and the Naga are alive. The cleric used to be the strongest hero in the game. Thankfully, he got nerfed to the ground, so I'm not too worried about facing the, the cleric anymore. So he did over 200 damage right there. That was pretty impressive, I'm not going to lie. All right, so we'll do this. Place some more echoes on the board. Or at least at, at least one. That was a hundred and well, about 200 damage right there. Almost 200 damage to the cleric. That was pretty nice. Let's take out the cleric though, or at least try to. Let's try to take out the cleric here. We got the nice. Just try to just push it towards the echo. Push it towards the echo. That should take him out. Bada boom! And the scarecrow gets the final blow on the naga right there for the win. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. We got five wins. We're doing great, ladies and gentlemen. We are doing fantastic. Let's continue on. Alrighty, guys. So, five wins. Okay. So, this is going to start being a little bit difficult. 
thankfully his scarecrow goes first my scarecrow also goes first so that's not good he gets two charges all right so not good i mean i guess we'll just hit the spell wing get one echo and then hit maybe the thunder pause and the wraith here we triple hit his spell wing that was pretty impressive actually and now he is going to hit the spell wing towards the the scarecrow and gets one charge right there um i mean the best thing to do here is i mean you could hit three heroes maybe a four let's just do that let's do that right there there you go we do hit oh look at the wraith wraith took major damage right there everyone got hit that's good oh this is an oh this is an ugly play this is an ugly play ouch that hurts that is well played we only have one echo to work with this is not good not good at all all right not good obviously we can try to hit the scarecrow towards the fire hit the wraith and the spell wing towards the fire that was actually pretty impressive right there let's see what he's going to do here he's going to play some more echoes and charges oh no he's going to play around with the scarecrow to deal damage to the griffin only one hit though thankfully okie doke so at this point just you know just hit everyone here bada boom bada boom healing up the griffin right there that should be a nice little double kill yes we do get a nice little double kill right there we might actually win this one since the griffin is pretty healthy and he is going to heal up the scarecrow the pro yeah the problem is he has a lot of echoes to work with like a lot and he manages to take out my scarecrow so only the griffin is left alive we can try to get a double hit here this should be a nice little double hit. Even try to push him towards the fire, and we we could we could take out the scare uh, the the thunder pause there. We do take out the thunder pause. Only the scarecrow is left alive. His best bet is to try to heal himself up while dealing damage to me. He'll get a nice little double heal there. Of course, well played. So can I get a double hit here? Will this be a double hit? I think it is. Nice little double hit. And the fire to take him out. Let's go. Holy guacamole. What a play right there. We got a nice, awesome victory right there. So that's what? Six wins? We got six wins. We're doing incredibly well, ladies and gentlemen. Let's continue one. Alrighty, guys. We're halfway there through the challenge. Mummy Naga combo with the cleric. Uh, we do start with the griffin. That, that's a, actually a pretty good start, especially with the scarecrow being there. We're going to get a lot of damage right there. Let's go, let's go. Um, wow, we did about half half health damage to the cleric right there. That's awesome. He is going to enchant the paladin at least, and maybe the scarecrow. No, he misses the scarecrow. He hits the spell wing, of course. All right, so let's do. We'll enchant or. Get some echoes here with the spell wing. Only two echoes right there, but we do deal plenty of damage to the cleric. The cleric is about to die, which is great. He'll get a double hit on the on the griffin here, it seems like. And he does. Alright, so like that's 140 damage, yeah, more or less. Alrighty, let's do what can we do? I guess we'll hit the scarecrow here. Play some echoes. Oh wow! What a play on the mummy. If it wasn't for the for the defensive buff from the from the freaking um, archon, I think the mummy would have died. I think. But uh, wow, the mummy is already almost dead. That was a great play. He is going to make the mummy hit the scarecrow last, so the scarecrow will get pushed towards the wall. Okay. Um, I guess we'll get another echo on the board here. Sadly, we do not remove the enchantment from the Paladin, so the Paladin will receive a lot of damage. Thankfully, the only hero that is not enchanted is the Griffin, so the Griffin can definitely do some awesome stuff here. He is going to hit the Griffin as well. Oh, no, he's going for the double hand of the Paladin, and he misses. Ooh-wee! He misses, ladies and gentlemen. We'll heal up the Griffin here. This should hit all three of them over there. Yep, there you go. We do hit all three of them, and the Paladin took out the cleric okay let's go two before he could push the naga towards the, the the scarecrow down there 
No, he doesn't want to. He just wants to deal damage to both of them. Okay, that's honestly fine, honestly. At this point, I think it's best to just you know, go for the Naga here. Hopefully, we'll get death. That's not death. That is not death, ladies and gentlemen. Almost death, though. He's going for the Paladin. The Paladin is definitely going to die. Oh, no, he misses. Wow, he is not making the correct place. I'll take it, dude. This will remove the... um. The spell wings enchantment. I would like to try to take out the Naga as well by doing this. Will this take out the Naga? Yes, it does. But we pl we used all of my echoes, which I did not want to. But it's okay. It's a four v one. Even though my paladin is about to die, it's still a four v one. Okay, so the paladin will die. I won't be able to heal up anymore unless I use this, the echoes. Um, that's okay. Uh. Maybe I can push the scarecrow or not the scarecrow the um the archon towards the griffin maybe this might not be able to work let's see oh we do wow with a double hit as well that was 180 damage more or less let's go all right with the griffin going next now uh okay and if you know the archon survives here we're going to get a whole bunch of echoes here at least two. Bada boom, bada boom, that is death, that is death. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. That is our seventh win? We got seven wins? Ooh-wee, we got seven wins, ladies and gentlemen. Let's freaking go. Let's continue on. Alrighty, guys, come on. We're doing amazing here. Uh, Okay, so he does have Sorceress with... um. You could say the Sorceress with... um. Thunder pause combo. We're, instead of dealing damage, we're gonna get we're gonna play some echoes. We're gonna play some echoes just to start things off with because the scarecrow is not gonna do anything. He will be using the the sorcerers to push her downwards. He might be able to make the sorcerers go down. Maybe not. No, he's going for the thunder pause. Alright. So he does manage to deal lots of damage with the thunder pause. That's great. And now we can play some more um echoes while now dealing damage here. Right here. Bada boom, bada boom, bada boom. Let's go. Damage to all four heroes right there. Plus, we got five echoes now. Great. And now, with the griffin going next, this is where things can be very dangerous for him. And holy guacamole, that's a lot of echoes. And he enchants the griffin. Of course, he does. But we can remove the enchantment. Honestly, that might be for the best. Let's remove the enchantment here. Bada boom, bada boom, bada boom. And healing up the Gryphon to full health right there. Paladin almost died. I really wish I would have taken him out. But uh, we're just still going to have to make things work here. He's going for the Gryphon. And he does enchant both of them over there. Well played. Alright, so I guess we're going to have to play some more Echoes here. Uh, more Echoes heal up the Spellwing. And the uh, Gryphon, but I completely missed the Sorceress. That was... I was not planning on that. I was actually planning on hitting the sorceress. That could cost me the game here, honestly. We'll see, though. Yeah, the spell wing is almost dead. That's not good. That's obviously not good. Um, um, we'll just hit the sorceress like here. This will heal up the scarecrow, thankfully. Let's just hit the sorceress right there. There you go. The sorceress died. But sadly, you know, the paladin and the spell wing are left are enchanted plus one hit away from death. So we're going to have to rely on the Griffin and the Scarecrow combo to win. Plus, of course, he is just going to take out both of them right now because of Echoes. No, wait a second. He pushed the Spellwing out of the way from the Echo. Okie doke. We might have to go for damage here instead of playing around for Echoes, honestly. We could heal up the Spellwing too. I think it's best to heal up the Spellwing here. Hopefully hit the Frog Mystic towards the Scarecrow. No, we do have the Thunder Pasta as a Scarecrow, though. All right, so we kept the Spell Wing alive. So that we can still play around with the Echoes, potentially. He's going for that. Still in the game, ladies and gentlemen. We are still in the game. But this might be bad. I honestly don't know if going for damage here is going to be the right play, honestly. I mean, I guess we'll do this heal up, deal damage to this uh, Thunder Paws, and get an Echo. Oh, Scarecrow damage, bada boom. Alright, not the play. I think the Gryphon is going to die there. I think that was a bad play. 
I, I just, I was trying to figure out what to do there, and honestly, I don't think any damage was going to be helpful there. So he gets, okay, I think the griffin will die here now. Yep, griffin dies, sadly. So we're going to heal up the scarecrow here and place some more echoes on the board, and hopefully we can make a comeback. I don't know if that's going to work out, but we're going to try our best. And the spell wing is in a horrible predicament. The spell wing is going to die here. Yep, the spell wing is going to die here. All right, so that sucks because now we cannot do much other than use our... There's only two echoes, so not much I can do here, ladies and gentlemen. We can try to get a double hit here on the paladin. We do, and we actually do deal damage to the paladin right there. That was actually pretty decent damage to all three of them, not gonna lie. But he can heal up the, the uh, thunder paws if he wants to. Oh, see, it's going for damage. He does, wow, he heals up both of them. Are you kidding me, dude? That's unfortunate. All right, we'll do this. And hopefully we'll hit the, uh, actually, we'll just hit the paladin here. Hopefully we'll double hit the frog mystic. Bada boom. And we're getting the steam damage. That's good. But I think that is GG's, ladies and gentlemen. He is placing some charges, which, oh, wow. Okay, then he heals up fully. Pretty much on the frog mystic right there. Not much I can do here other than we can potentially heal up the scarecrow here. And yeah, I don't think we're gonna win here. We used up all of my echoes. So, and of course, he's just going to do that. Yeah, not much I can do here. So, we're just going to surrender. Scarecrow alone is not gonna win a fully healed frog mystic and the thunder pause. Absolutely no way that's going to happen. So, sadly, we're gonna have to surrender right there. And there you go, guys. We got seven wins. With two losses, can we win five more? Let's see. Let's continue on. Hopefully, we can get uh, five more wins here. We are facing a heal deck. All right. So, we do start with the Scarecrow, which is a horrible start. He's going to play some Echoes on the board here. Pushing this, the Vampire downwards. All right. So, I think... Well, actually, let's just do this. Let's place a whole bunch of Echoes on the board here. This should be at least four Echoes, hopefully. Yep, that is four echoes on the board, and we do deal damage to the um, spell wing and the dancing dragon, so not bad. Deals damage to the scarecrow right there, that hurts a lot. Um, but we're gonna do we can heal up the scarecrow here. Yeah, let's just heal up the scarecrow. Ba da boom, ba da boom, ba da boom. Ooh, another echo on the board. Spell wing just took major damage there. He is going to heal up, of course. And with the griffin going next now, let's see what we can do here. I mean, not much, honestly. I mean, we could hit um, the dancing dragon and the and the paladin here. While healing up the griffin, at least, at this angle, we could hit the vampire as well. There you go. There you go. We do hit... Technically, we, hit, we did hit all of them because the spell wing took um, burn damage. He is going to heal up everyone here, buffing up the spell. Well, ooh, buffing up the spell wing as well. We'll play it, honestly. At this point, we are going to try to double hit the scarecrow here, play some echoes, and deal damage to the spell wing and the dancing dragon. Sadly, the dancing dragon did not get hit, but the spell wing took major damage, but he is going to stay alive because he has a pretty good heal deck. No, he decides to go after the spell wing. Okay. He decides to go after the spell wing. That was actually a very interesting play. I thought he was going to go after the spell wing to keep him alive. Let's do. He let the scarecrow here push the paladin towards the spell wing. There you go. Spell wing is dead. No more echoes for him. He only has one, but regardless, he can still heal up. He can still heal up regardless, and he's going to get an attack buff here. Oh no, he's going for the double hand, the griffin. Heals up, I want a snitch. Okie doke. Uh, let's try to get a double heal here on, this, on the scarecrow. Lots of damage to the dancing dragon, maybe. Wow, only one or two of them hits the dancing dragon. I really wish all of them would have hit. He's going for... Oh, okay. I expected more damage than that. Thankfully, that was not the greatest of plays there. We're going to do this. Hopefully, this will hit the vampire as well. 
There we go. It does. Wow. Wow. Double healing the Griffin. That heal was crucial. Since the Griffin is my main attacker. That was very crucial. He will be taking out the Spellwing. Well played. Alrighty. I don't know if going after the Dancing Dragon is going to be the best play, honestly. I think going after the Vampire will be the best play here. Um, so let's try to get a double hit here. Bada boom. The Vampire and the Scarecrow did not touch the Echo. I am actually shocked. I am actually very shocked about that. Okay, so I guess we'll heal up the Paladin and the Scarecrow here while dealing massive damage to the, the Paladin right there. Oh, we took out the Dancing Dragon. Okay. So, but sadly, we used up all the Echoes. Hopefully, we don't need to deal excess or uh, extra damage using the Echoes. Um, okay. So, we'll do this, and hopefully, we'll take out the Paladin there. There you go. The Paladin is dead. So, it's a 3v1. Vampire, I did not want to keep him alive as the last man unit, but it is now or never. We do have a huge advantage since um, it's a 3v1, but the problem is he can heal for every single hit that he does. So... Yeah, of course he does that. Um, great. We are in a comfortable position. He played that well, actually. I don't think that's going to hit the Vampire. Will it? I mean, if we hit the corner like here, then maybe. Maybe. Ooh! Ooh! We do get a nice little double hit. We'll take it. 120 damage right there. I definitely needed the damage, for sure. He's going for the double hit on the Griffin. Okay. Uh, he might actually make a comeback here, since the Vampire is pretty clutch when it comes to being the last man hero, or the last man alive. And, of course, he does that. Great. Uh, wow, this is rough, dude, rough. This should heal up the griffin and the scarecrow while hitting the vampire. There you go, 109 damage. Um, this is very dangerous. He can make a comeback here, dude. This is so unfortunate. This is very unfortunate stuff. He might actually win here. Um, wow. Yeah, I think he, I think he bested me here. We should be able to hit the Scarecrow and the Vampire here, hopefully. I just don't want to miss. Bada boom. Oh, what a play. We got the victory. Holy guacamole, what a play. I definitely needed to do something and we got it. We got the victory right there. Lucky win. That was a very lucky win, ladies and gentlemen. Let's continue on. Alrighty, that last match was so lucky. We just need four more wins to win. I don't know if it's going to happen facing against this person because he's going to, you know, play some echoes and get the corner right there. So after a pretty good start for him, honestly. Um, we could play some echoes as well while playing around with the scarecrow here. There you go. There you go. Decent damage, but sadly we did not get the 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 corner right there. Surprisingly. Alright, so he's going to get a more Echoes on the board while playing around with the Scarecrow. Lots of damage. Lots of damage. Alright, so we could... Um, should we just go for the Scarecrow, honestly? Yeah, I think it's best to just go at the Scarecrow here. There you go. Took out the Scarecrow. That's okay. He says well played. Hopefully that was the correct play because we have no Echoes. He has five. So he is going for the he's going to hit the trap. Yeah, he does hit the trap. Will that take out the griffin? No, the griffin is still alive. Alright. So we can actually heal up the griffin here while multi-hitting these heroes. Plus placing echoes. This is definitely going to be the right play. For sure, for sure. The gargoyle is dead. Let's go. Holy guacamole. Gargoyle is dead. Alright, so he is going to hit the Scarecrow towards the Thunder Paws. We're still... Ouch, ouch, ouchie, ouchie. We're still fine, we're still fine. Um, Just hit the Spellwing towards the Griffin here. How did I miss the Griffin? No freaking way, dude. I mean, we did damage with the Echo, but I cannot believe I completely whiffed it. Missed the Griffin right there. Alright, so he's just going to hit both of them. Oh, he's going for the spelling. 
Oh, never mind. He's going to push the Paladin towards the Echo. Still alive, though. He is still alive, ladies and gentlemen. We'll play some more Echoes on the board here while doing Scarecrow damage. And there you go. The Spellwing is dead. Only the, the Thunderpaws is left alive. He cannot use his ability. He can heal up if he wants to because of the Echoes, but he cannot use his ability, which is a huge plus for me. Like a huge plus. Scarecrow is dead. Griffin, no freaking way, dude. No freaking way he pulled that off. Wow. We're gonna have to just go for heals here. Keep the spell wing alive and hope for the best. Yep, there you go. We got three echoes on the board. Fully healed up the spell wing. Now, can we win this one? I don't know. I don't know, but he played that well. He damages the spell wing right there, so we can only have three echoes on the board here. We have 359, he has 261, and of course we can heal up and potentially push him towards the echo right here. There we go. There we go. There we go. Holy guacamole. He has 42 health. He can heal up once. Only once. No, he decides to go for the trap instead of going for the heals, my dude. You don't know I can take you on one hit right now, right? Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. What a game. What a freaking game, ladies and gentlemen. That is our ninth win, right? I, I, I'm forgetting how many wins I need more uh, to get to the max rewards here getting compl or completing the run here. Yep, I just need three more wins. <sighs> Let's continue on. Alrighty, guys. Come on. Just need three more wins. He has a three and assassin combo with, of course, he has, he has attackers. That's the problem. He does have attackers. Thankfully, his assassin goes first, so I'm not too worried about it. Uh, we're going to push the spell wing towards the assassin. Since the griffin does go next, it's going to be the line of sight where the assassin is. Sally did not want to keep the spell, uh, the spell wing where I kind of wanted to, but that's okay. Oh, that's going to be a lot of damage. That's going to be a lot of damage to spelling. Yeah, that hurts. It's okay. It's okay. Let's do. We're gonna have to just go for the. Just go for this damage, honestly. Just do that. Ba da boom. Ooh, the tree just died. Just got demolished right there. Let's go. Holy. All right. So that was awesome. He's going for the assassin on the griffin. The spellwing or the paladin also gets hit right there. That's very unfortunate stuff. We're going to take out the mice spinner here. We'll do that. Ba da boom, ba da boom. All righty. Two v four. He could push the assassin towards the griffin again. The griffin will stay alive if he does do it. No. He, whoa. He's gonna go for straight damage right there. And thankfully, the griffin does not end up near enough towards that, but he does manage to deal damage to the Scarecrow right there. We'll get an, at least one Echo on the board here, hit the Assassin. Wait, how did that, how did the Scarecrow not hit the Assassin right there? Did you see that? This, it should have done 118 damage, and that did not happen. That was weird. Okay, this is becoming a very close game, not gonna lie. This is becoming kind of a close game here. We'll place another Echo on the board here. Hit the cultist and the assassin right there. We took out the assassin. Perfect. The cultist has 82 health. The griffin can one-shot him. So let's see if he manages to take out the griffin. If not, then we'll win. He is going for the spell wing. And the scarecrow. But we, the griffin is going to stay alive here, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to get our 10th victory. Holy guacamole, we are doing awesome. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. 10 wins. This is absurd, dude. This is freaking absurd at how well we're doing. We just need two more wins. I'm getting nervous since we're this far ahead in the challenge. I'm just hoping that we can actually get the two wins that we're looking for. Let's continue on. Alrighty, guys. Come on, just two more wins here. Facing a heal deck with... The Enchantress. We have to take out his Enchantress first. So we just push the spell wing upwards to get an echo and just hit the Enchantress. We have to try to take out the Enchantress as quick as possible. We don't want any of his heroes to get enchanted. If he does, then whatever. We're going to have to make it work. He is going to enchant the Frog Mystic and the, you know, the Kong right there. Let's do... We don't want to... Even though I want to enchant the Kong, 
we don't want him to um get damaged sadly so let's just hit this frog mystic right there okay so we have two echoes on the board here he is going to just for the paladin and the griffin here gets a defensive buff but look at this wow we are getting demolished here now this is where we might have to just go for the enchantress at least and heal up the griffin just to keep him alive this will hit the kong as well but just focus on the enchantress right there there you go the enchantress sadly is still alive and the kong will be able to deal massive damage to the paladin at least unless he pushes the griffin towards the kong and that hurts i think the paladin died yep the paladin did in fact die <sighs> Not good, not good, not good, not good. This might be a loss, ladies and gentlemen. This might be a loss. How much of the scene enchantress have? 166. No, we're going to have to move the spellwing out of the way there, or else he's going to get hit by the Kong. Let's do that. Not bad, but ugh. actually, the spellwing and the scarecrow will get hit by the Kong's ability right there, unless he pushes him out of the way by mistake. Uh, He pushes the spellwing out of the way, but the scarecrow will get the damage. All right, yeah, we're gonna have to just do this. Just do that. Just, just, just take out the Kong. Just take out the Kong. I don't care about. The, I, I don't care. Just take out the Kong. The Kong's doing too much damage, but sadly, we have no echoes to heal. That's the problem. We have no echoes to heal. Um, Spell Wayne, stay alive, please. He is still alive. We can get at least three echoes, uh, maybe to work to work around this. So let's do that while hitting the Scarecrow as well. Let's go, let's go, let's go. One more Scarecrow. No way the Scarecrow did not get a, hit, a the final hit. All right, so we got four Echoes. That was great. I definitely needed those Echoes. Scarecrow is still alive. Um, We could heal up the Scarecrow. Yeah, let's do that. Heal up the Scarecrow. Oh, the Enchantress took major damage, but she is still alive because of all the heals that he is getting, you know? Alright, the Spellwing is... I think the Spellwing is about to die here. Yep, the Spellwing is dead. I think the Scarecrow took major damage. He did, but he is still alive. Alright, with this... with the... Griffin. We're gonna have to heal up the Griffin, so this will remove the speed buff. But this will, you know, heal him up. Oh, wow, what a play, what a play. Got one more hit, one more hit. Thank you. Let's go. Let's freaking go. All right. We have one more echo to work with for damage or to heal. And I think going after the priest might be the best play since he does have the attack buff. Oh, wow, of course he does manage to make that play. But we do have a decent line of sight to hit the priest and the frog mystic here. We just got to aim it slightly downwards, like right here. Um, yeah, right there. Let's do that. Oh, no way. Oh, please hit the frog mystic at least. No way, dude. That, I think that cost me the game. I think that alone will cost me the game right there. Yeah, no freaking way, dude. What was that? No, so close. I'm so sorry, guys. I was so close, but Sally wasn't able to get... The 12th wins. I was so looking forward to it. I just messed up the final play right there. I am so sorry, guys. We just claimed the rewards right here. Mummies. Thunder Idols. Alright, just those two because everything else is going to be gold and those two cards. Man, I'm so upset that we weren't able to get the final reward. But regardless, guys, it was an amazing run. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you did, please make sure to hit the like button below and subscribe to the channel for more Smashing 4 videos. Incredible run. If you guys use this deck, let me know how far you guys go. And if you guys have any other recommendations that you want to see, just let me know down in the comments below. And I'll certainly do it for you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. And thanks again for your continued support. I will see you in the next one. Take care.